What's going on, King and Queens? If you're new here, it's your boy, Preston. Welcome to Daily Bread number 11, man. Number 11. Um, first and foremost, all praises to the Most High Yahweh and the Son Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And today, your restoration is here, bro. Your restoration is here, man. And uh, I don't even like doing words like this, but God kept putting it on my spirit. You know, I felt like I was wrestling back and forth with him. You know, he's just like dropping on him, dropping on him, dropping on him. And the word I got today for y'all is Job. The story of Job, man. And I keep hearing double, 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 right? <laughs> and you know, God says, when you come to the throne, come boldly, right? Come like you know you his child, man. Come with some authority. And I'm going to just go ahead and say this for most of y'all and a lot of y'all, man. The hell that y'all been through this past year or couple years, man. The grief, the sorrow. Y'all deserve more than just a nice car. Let's be real. Y'all deserve more than, than a house, man. Let's be real, man. Some of y'all been through so much hell. You deserve more than something that's common, right? So let's, let's get into the story of Job, man. Job was a perfect and upright man. And one day, you know, uh, Satan went up to heaven, right? And he had a conversation with the Most High. God was like, Satan, what you up to, bro? Satan was like, you know, I'm here, there, you know, looking for, looking for who I can crush today, man. And God was like, have you, have you considered my servant Job? Surely there's no one like him. Because anytime God wants to show you off, He'll allow people to attack you, man, because he's stunting on you. And Satan was like, no, nah, I can't do that. You know, you got a hedge of protection around him. I can't touch him, man. And God was like, you right, you right. How about this? I'm going to take the hedge off of him and you can do whatever you want. You just can't kill him, though. Satan was like, bet. So next thing you know, Satan took away his business. He killed his kids. Right. Um, he got boils all on his face. He even took away his house, man, right? Job, it was like 30 verse 30. Job said his skin is black and his bones burn with heat. He hot, man, it's hot outside. And, and Satan just destroyed his house, man. He needs some shade, <laughs> right? And um, next thing you know, Job's friends came from afar, right? And they sat and they comforted Job, right? And um, you know how when you get around people, and they see you going through something, first they sympathize with you. But then it's always that one person that got something to say. That's what happened to Job, right? They sat with him for a couple of days. They sympathized with him. And then somebody was like, listen, Job, you had to do something to piss God off, man. You had to do something to make God mad. God ain't just doing all this stuff for no reason, right? And, and God wasn't because... Here, this is why God allowed Job to go through this in the first place. This is not even part of the word, but I just want to make this clear. Job, if there's one thing that God hates worse than a sinner, because some people think God just hates the sin. No, in the book of Psalms, it says God hates the sin and the sinner. If there's one thing that God hates worse than a sinner is a moralist. A moralist is somebody that, you know, just because I do good in the world, in the world, just because I feed the hungry or, you know, I give to the poor and needy, Good things deserve to happen to me. No. God, God says the blessings fall on the just and the unjust, man. God bless whoever he want, man. He's God. He can do whatever he want, man. And God had to, uh, he had to break that in Job, man. Right? So long story short, um, God confronted Job's friends, man. Right? And they was, and God basically told Job, like, y'all listen, man, y'all don't know what I'm doing in Job's life, right? Y'all think y'all know y'all put your tongue on all on this man name. Y'all saying he, he y'all saying he bad. You know, he y'all his his reputation is ruined, man. Y'all don't know what I'm doing. What y'all need to go do. Y'all need to go apologize to him or y'all. I'm gonna curse y'all. and Y'all gonna die, man. Now I'm over exaggerating, but you know, you get you get my picture, man. Right. And so they went back and they apologized to Job. Listen, Job, bruh. I didn't know you was tight with the Lord like that. Sorry, my G. Sorry, man. So if we go to um, Job 42 and 11, right? Uh, Job prayed for his friends. After they came back, he prayed for his friends, right? And Job, and God restored Job with double, right? He restored Job with double. Now, in Job 42 verse 11, 
Job's brothers, his sisters, his old friends and acquaintances, they came back to Job's house. Now, Job lost his house, right? Now they back at his house and they eating. They comforting him, right? At the end of the verse, they started giving him little pieces of gold and silver. When Job didn't have nothing, they wasn't rocking with him, right? Everybody was speaking on him. You know, you should be doing this. You should be doing that, right? They thought the things that he were going through, the things that he was going through, they thought it was his fault. But the Most High was with him the entire time, man. Right? And you can even tie that into the, um, in the book of Sirach, right? If a rich man put out his hand, they give him more. But if a poor man put out his hand, they take the little that he has, right? So as Job was being restored, right? As Job, as God gave Job double, right? People were starting to give him more and they were starting to give him more. Now they want to be around him. And this is how your restoration is going to go. This is how some of y'all restoration is going right now, right? Now, all of a sudden, God is restoring you, right? Now, all of a sudden, the, the same, I feel the Holy Spirit. Right? <laughs> But now that God is restoring you, now that people can see, because a lot of time, a lot of y'all, people have been judging your situation, right? She need to do this. He need to do that. The reason why they're going through this is because of that. See, if they was to just do this, see, it's their own fault. But the most high, God going to show up and he going he gonna, to he gonna let people know that he was with you the entire time, man. And people going to start coming back, man. Man, I'm sorry you had to go through that. I didn't know you felt that way. Man, you, you had to go through all that alone? Man, I'm surprised you still, wow. Man, you're really, wow. I didn't know, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize, right? That's how people gonna start coming back to you, man, because they see that strength. They see that God was with you, right? And, and like I said before, man, at the end of it, Job said, I only, I only knew about you, right? But then Job said, now I had an experience with you. See, before, some of y'all, y'all just believed in God, right? God is good, right? Y'all just, y'all just, y'all knew some verses, right? But now after this experience y'all just had with God, now you know God. Now you one with God, right? You and God, y'all actually have a real relationship. You're not one of those people anymore that says, hey, um, just come to my church, hear my pastor speak, man. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to come back. No, you're the type of person now that's going to be like, hey, man, give me five minutes and let me tell you what I've been through with the most high. Right? Because you have that, you got that experience. You got that personal relationship. And this is how your relate. This is how your restoration is going to go, man. Now you have that. Now you've been restored inside, man. And since you've been healed. Now, now, whoo, I feel the Holy Spirit. Since you've been healed inside, now your 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 uh now your outside can reflect how you feel on the inside, right? Like and like I said from the beginning, man. Some of y'all, y'all deserve more than just a nice car. Y'all deserve more than just a nice house, man. God needs to hook y'all up, man. Somebody needs to receive that. God needs to hook y'all up, man. Come to the throne boldly, man. Man, God, if you can just do that, if you can just do this for me. No, man. God, I deserve this, man. Hook me up. After everything that I just been through, I deserve this, man. Right? All that suffering, all that pain. Some of y'all, you had this mentality like Joe, you know, that... um. Just because you're a good person, you deserve good things to happen to you, man. Right? God had to break that out of you, man. Now you you know, God, I deserve this because it's part of your promises, man. Go read Deuteronomy. Read the promises that God has for you. And you'll see God owe y'all some stuff, man. But you got to ask and then you got to believe, right? With the faith of a mustard seed, you can tell a mountain to move and it shall move, man. Right? Yahweh, he cursed the fig tree and then walked off. One of the disciples was like, 
It, it actually died. Christ was like, yeah, it did. Right? You got to have that faith, man. I say that I said this in like two videos already. But I just want I want to get it in y'all head, man. Y'all faith is going to make y'all the apple of God's eye, man. Understand that and believe that, man. Your restoration is here. Your restoration is now. Double for your trouble, man. Double for your trouble, man. And you deserve it, man. You deserve it. Because through everything that you just been through, you kept the faith. You didn't give up. You didn't grow weary in well-doing. You wanted to give up. You wanted to quit. But you didn't, man. And for that, man, you got a miracle coming your way. You know what a miracle is? A miracle is when something good when is is some is when something good happens, but it's not supposed to happen, man. That's a miracle. And you deserve it, man. Because you just you just endure it to the end, bro. You deserve this miracle. You deserve this blessing. You deserve this breakthrough, man. All right, man. That's the word of the day. That's how your restoration gonna come, man. People gonna start coming out of nowhere just to bless you, man. Because they can see that God's been with you the entire time, man. All right. Daily bread number 11. Your restoration is here, man. I hope this word blesses you. If you feel led to share this video, please share it with somebody. Maybe somebody needs to hear it, man. Until next time, keep the faith. Peace.